Shinkadashu. <laughs> I didn't know how to say it, but I heard it before. Yeah. Who is it? Who is it? Who is it? Who is it? Well, I mean, the, the transportation and the, and the so many so many motorcycles. That's, that also got me too. I was. I like to go see their, their night, mar night markets to see what they're like. Each one's different, and it was really nice. I like. I really like doing that.耶,歡迎收看雅虎好棒棒,我是子怡,不管是台灣選手還是外籍洋將,離開家鄉到異地打球,除了語言之外,不同的生活方式,不同的文化,都需要時間適應。I've been in Taiwan for 10 years. I got here in 2015. Um, spent three years with the brothers, three with Fuban, and my fourth year with Wei Chen. You know, I didn't have many, um, I didn't have much knowledge about Taiwan before I got here. I talked to guys that had played in Asia, um, and so they kind of told me like a little bit of what to expect. But um, when I arrived, I think one of my first impressions was how nice everybody was. Um, people were willing to help you out. They were willing to um, basically do anything they could to provide you assistance and uh, allow you to have a chance to be successful. So I thought that was really unique. First time I was here, uh, I remember seeing all the scooters at the intersection downtown, and I think that was a pretty cool experience, um, you know, because you don't see it in the States much. Most off days, uh, I actually like to come downtown, so I love the downtown area, um, love going out to eat, so usually me and Drew or other guys on the team will go try new restaurants, um, but we spend time downtown walking around and um, seeing new things. I really like downtown Taipei, and I like, uh, I like Tiamu a lot too. Tiamu is a, a really, really cool area. One thing that I enjoy, especially when my family's here, my, my kids love the night market. So we have a good time in the night market. Um, we go there, try different food, um, play a lot of the games. Um, my, my daughter loves throwing the darts at the balloons. So uh, we spend time in the night market and uh, trying new things there. Bueno, gracias a Dios tuve la oportunidad de venir aquí a Taiwán en el 2020 hasta la fecha. Sí, lo escuché, lo voy a escuchar, lo voy a escuchar, pero nunca. Sabe, le había puesto tanta atención hasta que me dijeron que por acá se jugaba pelota profesional. Entonces, ya hablé con el abogado que quería venir para acá. This is my fifth season. I started here at uh, the halfway point of 2020. I didn't know a whole lot about Taiwan as a country before I came here. Um, I knew a little bit about baseball just from previous Canadian players that played here, Scott Richmond, uh, Eric Wood for a little bit. Um, so I, I knew a little bit about the CPBL just through those guys. Um, but as far as Taiwan as a country, I didn't know too much. Um, but it's, it's been great. You guys have treated me well since I've been here. I think uh, the people is really what makes it a lot of fun here. Um, teammates, coaches, and, and the fans. Um, it's always high energy, everybody's always happy. So. Um, that, that's been made my five years here a lot of fun. What did you do? I did it. 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 I played for 90, from 94 all the way to 99. Uh, with one year of uh, uh, intercession, because one year in 97 I went to Japan. But then I came back, I came back to the new league. 
and I spent two years there. So overall, it was like from 95, from 94 to 99. Here in Taiwan, I played five years, five seasons here in Taiwan, 96, 97, and 98. And then I was gone for what, five years before I came back. And I played for two more seasons in 2004 and 2005. 同一时，布雷克和中信兄弟德保拉都来台第五个球季，是现役球员中仅次于五多的资深洋将。台钢的横田久泽教练、路易斯教练和魏全龙的假西教练，球员时期和教练资历相加也都超过五年。Sin temor a que te vaya a pasar algo. Las personas en la calle son amables. Eso me gusta mucho de aquí la seguridad. Well, I mean, the, the transportation and the, and the so many so many motorcycles. That that also got me too. I was because I mean, it's like now now they have trained, they have everything. But all, back in the days, I mean, there was a lot of motorcycles, a lot of taxi, a lot. Of, so the transportation was a little.、Uh, a little bit exciting and a little bit at the same time confusing. I used to like to walk around,、uh, experience, see、uh, most of Taiwan that I could see. I always took a card with me just in case I walked too far and couldn't get back to the hotel. So I always take a taxi back. And、uh, I would I'd like to go try to find new places to eat. And、uh, at, towards the evening times, <clears throat> every city I went to,、uh, Taipei, Taichung, Even Tainan and then Kaohsiung, I saw. I like to go see their, their night, mar night markets to see what they're like. Each one's different, and it was really nice. I like. I really like doing that. To me, the biggest thing, just because I don't speak the language, so I might, I don't know a lot of stuff what's going on. But to me, like the architecture and the just the beauty of the temples really stands out to me. It's they're incredible buildings.、Um, even if I don't quite understand exactly what it what it all is,、um, just the the physical, just looking at them is incredible. The architecture and Every little piece of it has little details to it, and that's very different、um, than religion in, in North America. They're kind of just more standard buildings.、Um, so I, I really enjoy that and looking at those and just seeing all the little details and the amount of time that must go into those. No, a mí me da más curiosidad los terremotos. Me da más curiosidad los terremotos porque siempre los terremotos aquí pasan semanal. Entonces yo en en mi vida Solamente había sentido un solo terremoto en República Dominicana, un solo en mi vida, y aquí ha sentido más de veinte. Two things in life that I'm very scared was snake and earthquake. But now, since I've been here and all those earthquake, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm the earthquake, I'm gonna take it easy, I'm gonna get used to it. Oh, I remember like it was yesterday. I was in the twenties, I think.、Uh, On the it was 17 or 24, 25 floor, and, I, and my family was here, and I mean we was we was going crazy, and then we went down we went down to the to the to the to the first floor. We came out of the building, and that's when we saw all the people outside, and they said that、uh, in in Tai in Taichung was the 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 center of this episode. And uh, and, uh, and all those buildings that are falling down. But、uh, yeah, I remember like a, like a, like it was yesterday. It was terrible, terrible. These two veteran Yang Jiang are very well suited to Taiwan life, and have made a team of local players. Not only do they speak Chinese, but they are also very popular with Taiwanese fans. All the teammates, all my teammates watched me, but probably the one that took me in a little bit,、uh, the two guys uh, that was、uh, Chen Chen Mao. Number 99, Kimmy. He watched me and took care of me really good. He made sure I was okay, and he spoke a little English, so he was able to,、uh, you know, talk with me and stuff like that. And、uh, Tyson was young, and Kunchong was young, the catcher, the coachier. 
So they were kind of rookies, so you know, it was, you know, I enjoyed watching them play just because they were rookies and they really played well. It was, I, I was really impressed watching them play. Taiwanese teams, man, you gotta be always, you always was a Ufurie, Ufurie, Wan Chi Lan, and uh, who else? Awi, Awi was pretty good. And, uh, and uh, Le Jimmy, Le Jimmy, Le Jimmy was the captain, but uh, he always made sure that we was okay and everything. <laughs> my first two years, I, I wasn't like, I was close with guys because they were on my team, but not real close. And then once I came back 2017, uh, me and Cha Cha, we got close. So at times we would like go to dinner or we would talk more. Uh, we played golf together a couple times, but it was a really like special, you know, relationship for me because of who he is, how long he'd been in the league. And so I was really just trying to like learn from him and um, you know just getting a getting an opportunity to like be around him was, was really special. Bueno, yo lo ya, llamé, por ejemplo, llamé Chihuey, Aju, siempre vamos mucho, Choso, el número 14, el Tongua, Probably after games, I always, if we're in the showers, I'll say like, Kakine, Pasas, Pasas, or Pato Yao. Like, hurry up, get on the bus, let, let's go Let's go eat. So that's probably my fam my famous one in the locker room. I learned how to say hurry because they were always telling us to hurry up and run hard. So we, I learned how to say that. Uh, the, oh, the, oh ki, ka, ka, ki, ki, na, na, yeah. So I learned how to say that stuff like that. Right turn, left turn, you know, Yo Chuan, Jo Chuan. Even, Ting, 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 slow down, stop, you know, stuff like that, so. One of the first things I learned was swaika. Everybody say, oh, hey, swaika. Swaika. So I learned what it means, like handsome. So I like that one, that one's good. Gotta be Ni Hao, Ni Hao, and uh, but the one that, the one that I, I like more is uh, the Ting Kutong. Because if, if, if I started to talk and I get in trouble, whatever, I just, I just go like Ting Kutong. Okay, put me on the spot. Oh, what's nine and ten? Jones. Jones, yeah. I got eight. Close, close. Oh, you gotta be New York Mien. New York Mien, that's whoosh. I love it. I love it then, and I still love it. New Romien, my favorite. Oh, I like New Romien, uh, Shalombao. The taste, because in Dominican, we have a uh, we have pretty much a, a, a dish like that, but it's with really a lot of vegetable in a, in about three three meat. And, and once once I taste the New York meal, it kind of tastes me pretty much the same sancocho we call them over there. And that's what I I guess that's how I, I fall in I fall I fall in love with New York meal. El pollo con arroz blanco. Usually I always like to eat the chicken. The chicken in here is really good. And I'm a big vegetable fan, so the green vegetables, and then, and then the egg, and then the cabbage. I'm a, I'm, I like vegetables, so uh, it's really good. And the flavors they put in there are really good. Here, it's different. In the U.S., you're not going to get that in the U.S. It's going to be totally different. So if you eat here, enjoy it here, because if I go back home, I won't be eating over there. Thank you.